Hi, my name's Corinne Brad, and hopefully you've been enjoying our series of six demonstrations showing you how to make the individual flower blocks that make up our colourful quilt as part of the Big Sew Quilt Along. If I may, I'd just like to run through some of the products that I've used in the demonstration so you can see the benefits for yourself. So I've used the Janome 5270 QDC sewing machine throughout all of the sewing of these quilt blocks. Um, there's a couple of things that, uh, because I got it out of the box and I started using it without reading the instruction manual like most of us do, there's a couple of things to note that I didn't realise when I was using the machine. And if you've watched the demonstrations, you'll hear me moaning about not knowing how big a quarter inch seam allowance is. Well, as standard, you get a quarter inch foot with a guideline, so you just run your edge of the fabric up to there and it stitches you a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. You've also got a free motion embroidery foot on this, which I have yet to play with, but that will be a demonstration in the making. And you also get a walking foot, which is perfect for quilting your finished quilt, because what it will do is it moves the top of the fabric like the bottom of the fabric. The bottom of the fabric is moved with your feed dogs. The walking foot moves the top of the fabric the same amount, so it doesn't pucker up. And you have a seam guide that just clips on and can be adjusted as you wish. You've also got a knee lift bar. Now I am seriously considering changing my setup at home so I can use the knee lift bar. At the minute I sit too high to use it, but it's such a great time saver because you just nudge it with your knee and your um, press foot will come up without you having to use your hands. So you can leave your needle in, hands on the fabric, just nudge it with your knee and turn your fabric. So I've always used a mechanical machine. I really do like this electronic machine. It comes with a quilting extension table, which just slides off and normally your accessory drawer will go in there. And as I've mentioned throughout the videos, there's some other great little functions like the automatic scissors. There's also automatic lock stitches on there. You've got an automatic needle threader. And there's a whole host of decorative embroidery and lettering stitches that are on here that are all accessed by the touch of a button. It's very quiet. For such a sturdy machine, it's actually fairly lightweight, but it is a solid metal body. All in all, brilliant machine. Um, I'm very pleased that I've been using it. I am now using it from now on, and you can see it in action when you look at any of our demonstrations to make the big flowery quilt. So in the demonstration to make the quilt, you'll have seen me use this Clover Patchwork Board Multi. And it's called a Patchwork Board Multi because you open it up, you have a sandpaper surface here and a rubber mat. And these are great for when you've got fabric on there, you're marking up angles and corners because on neither surface will it slip. I think the rubber mat is actually here to protect the metric cutting board um, but I think this mat is probably more to protect this from the sandpaper, but it is also a very good marking surface. And then when you flip it over, you've got a double size ironing board. And the ironing board is padded enough, as you can see the thickness, it will protect your cutting mat from the heat of the iron. Because if you've ever not moved your cutting mat, stuck a towel on top of it, ironed a bit, you will notice that it, it tends to bow. Cutting mats do not like heat. But this one has been well protected by the thick surface of the ironing board. So that's the Clover Patchwork Board Multi. And it is really very portable. You can pop your pieces in there, close it up, pop it in a tote, take it wherever you like. So throughout the demonstrations, I've been stitching the quilt with these 100% cotton. It's Egyptian long strand cotton mercerized metal threads. I'll be honest, I had to Google mercerized because although I know my mum always used to use mercerized threads, I had no idea, I just thought it was a name. But it is a process, um, a chemical process that, that makes the strands of cotton or the, the fibers of cotton stronger, more shrink resistant, 
they're more heat resistant, their dye uptake is better, and they have a lovely smooth silk finish with a subtle sheen on it, as you can see on these threads here. Um, and just they're just generally so much nicer to work with, because I don't know about you, if you sew a lot, you end up with a lot of fibres gathering at the top of your needle and underneath in your race. Using a decent, smooth, mercerised thread like this cuts down on the amount of cleaning up you have to do afterwards. They're very colour fast because of the mercerisation process and there is a whole wealth of colours. So whatever you're doing, whatever fabric you're stitching, you are bound to find a thread that's going to fit with your colour scheme. So if you ever watch any of my other demonstrations, you'll see that I normally struggle with a little tiny travel iron. Why I've been using a travel iron for the last three years, I do not know, because I now have this lovely rose gold funky iron, which actually, for the size of it, is surprisingly light. It comes in three colours. You've got the, the uh, grey and the blue here. Each one comes with a silicon heatproof mat that's colour coordinated and a water cup. Now the reservoir on this funky iron, I mean it's light at the minute because it's empty, the reservoir would take two cups of this water to fill it up so you can carry on steam ironing for a very long time without having to refill. On the top here you've got an adjustable steam control. You've also got your spritz button and also there's a steam trigger. But it's actually really good because it gives you a burst of steam when you most need it. You can also get an additional um, hot shoe, as it were, sole plate, which simply fits on like this, pull it out and it clips on. And what it means is your sole plate doesn't actually touch your fabric, but you can iron very delicate fabrics on a high heat with steam without the risk of burning them or scorching them or shrinking them. Um, and it just comes off, clips on and off very easily. And my favourite thing about this iron is the longest cord I have ever seen on an electrical appliance. That's got to be, what, one, two, it's got to be two and a half, three metres long, which is absolutely fantastic, because if, like me, you haven't actually got that many plug points in your house, it does mean you can plug your iron in over the other side of the room, but you can put your ironing board where you've got room to, to move. So uh, that, that extension lead sold it to me immediately. So I hope you like that. As I say, very nice looking, lightweight, and, and ironing is a breeze because it is a bigger sole plate. It's a nice steam heat. Obviously, you need to set your, your um, dial on this to between two and three to start getting steam. Uh, but it just makes life so much easier when you're quilting. So if you've watched any of the demonstrations to make the blocks on this quilt, you've seen that I've used this prim ergonomic rotary cutter throughout all of it to cut my pieces. And believe me, I had a lot of pieces to cut. Use them all in the preparation as well. I like this rotary cutter because for a start it's ambidextrous. It doesn't matter if you're left or right handed. There's no fiddling about with changing the blade from one side to the other if somebody else has used your rotary cutter and not told you about it. You've got uh, an integral hex key here to loosen and tighten the screw to change your blade. And the handle is such that you can either hold it like this, you can hold it like this, or I tend to use my finger on the top of it or my thumb on the top of it to apply pressure. 45 millimeter blade and replacement blades are quite easily available. And it's got a safety clip cover. If you've never used a rotary cutter before, um, there's a couple of tips. I always get told off for bringing it towards me. That's because for years I trained as a pace-up artist using a scalpel and a ruler and you pull the scalpel towards you. I'm trying very hard to push my rotary cutter away from me, but you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. The great thing about rotary cutters is you can cut multiple pieces of fabric, multiple layers of fabric at the same time. So if you've got six different fabrics and you need to cut, I don't know, 40 squares, 43 inch squares of each fabric, then it makes very light work of it just by going through all the layers of fabric.
If you try and cut paper with your rotary blade, just like your fabric scissors, it will blunt the blade. Also with your cutting mat, if you've dug into it on occasions with a, a scalpel or something like that, you will find that that's why you get a nick on the fabric. But as essentially, it's, it's like a pizza cutter. You apply pressure and it just slices through the fabric like a knife through, a hot knife through butter, as I think is the term. So uh, yes, I definitely suggest you treat yourself to a rotary cutter if you're gonna try and make this quilt. So the one thing I didn't really get the opportunity to demonstrate while making this quilt is the Eucalan No Rinse Delicate Fabrics Washing Solution. So you will have to take my word for it. But it is, um, it's a highly concentrated washing solution. It smells glorious. But it's made from natural or predominantly natural ingredients. So you've got none of the harsh chemicals and enzymes and brighteners and bleaches that you would normally get in washing powder. Um, it's very, very cost effective because you only need about a teaspoon to a gallon of water. You can use it for hand washing just in a bowl and you don't need to rinse it. You can use it in your front loading machine on a rinse and spin cycle or a delicate spot cycle. Uh, and it just, it strengthens, it softens, it just makes your quilts and your delicates, baby clothes, uh, embroidered and embellished clothing, it's suitable for that because it's so gentle. I mean, I've got enough here that, to be honest with you, this would probably do me for my great-great-granddaughter. She'll still be washing in it. But you can get little travel packs. You can also get little wipes so that if you've got spot cleaning that you need to do. And they're very environmentally conscious. In fact, they've actually signed up to the 1% uh, for the Planet initiative this year. And as I say, it comes in eucalyptus, you've got a non-fragrance, you've got a lavender, a grapefruit and a jasmine. And um, it's not an overpowering scent. It is, I think, natural essential oils that are scenting these washing liquids. If you want something, if you want to keep your quilt nice or your hand-knitted woolen items nice or your handmade baby clothes soft and gentle and kind to the skin, then Euclan is what you want to go for.